Hey, what's going on guys? So I'm genuinely convinced that the Mithrin developers hate me because I was supposed to take a nice break today. I was gonna just upload my Monster Sanctuary Let's Play that's already been pre-recorded and I was just gonna, you know, get some sleep, but no, 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 they <laughs> had to have an update. No, I'm just kidding. But anyway, uh, January 1st newsletter uh, just rolled out. So um, we got a new trailer for the game. It's a very short teaser trailer, but a trailer nonetheless. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through the newsletter here we're gonna go through the um, the mini teaser, and then we're gonna talk about it. So, as usual, if you don't like these unscripted videos, uh, now's the time to exit because this is yet another unscripted video. Um, tomorrow is Monster Tamer news, so definitely look forward to that. Anyway, um, Happy New Year! To kick things off, we have a little teaser. Enjoy. Now, I'm gonna play the teaser at the end. Okay, um, it's very interesting. Anyway, Chroma Mutations. While we can't show off any just yet, we wanted to share what our shiny mechanic will be in our game. In Mithrin, you won't be capturing a creature again and again for the random chance to earn a Chroma. Instead, you'll be rewarded for completing certain in-game achievements. Once unlocked, you'll be able to equip this Chroma Mutation whenever you want, allowing you to customize your Mithrin even further than before. That's kind of interesting. Uh, we hope uh, putting time and effort towards a, an obtainable goal instead of towards a random chance would fit better with Mithrin as a game. This also ties back to Mithrin's fighting uh, fighting game roots by giving multiple fun recolors to each Mithrin. I like this idea because um, if you sit there and grind for, uh, I don't know, 100 hours, you're in the exact same spot that you were 100 hours ago with the typical shiny system. I'd rather spend my time trying to achieve a certain goal that goal can be hard that's fine but at least i know i'm actually um i'm actually getting closer to something so i actually like this um i, I like what they got going on here uh progress zane has been working hard on finishing up the kea rig and has started adding some caves into zone one to offer more routes to get around the various locations found in zone one He's also been working a lot behind the scenes to work on uh, our future Kickstarter that should be launching early spring this year. So there you guys go. If you want to know about Kickstarters, there's one going on this spring. John's been working alongside Zane on Kea's new rig. So we have a nice set of poses for Kea in the new conversation system that we've seen in the teaser trailer, which again, we'll see in a second. Also, he's been working on adding some more quality of life tweaks and changes to the tutorial via pop-ups when you collect an item and having your quest tracker visually displayed on the UI. Drake has fin uh, finalized a few more Mithin Mithrin designs, one of which being Beer Oh Beerletty Beer Beerlet Beer Yeah Beerlet Bearlet Sorry. <laughs> then also another Mithrin who you'll be meeting this month and has started working on finalizing yet another Mithrin design that will be showing leading up to the Kickstarter. Okay, so we're gonna get two more Mithrin at least before the spring. Good to know. Uh, Nana has finished working on our fancy new logo and did a stellar job uh, with bringing. The logo a much needed update here's how it looks very cool very cool uh community on twitter we recently showed off the adorable mithrin trio known as bearlet bearlet i can't i keep trying to call it bearlet this cute group of mithrin will fight together as one singular mithrin making them one of the most unique playable mithrin in the game it's basically doug trio if they were uh, not stuck in the ground, you know? <laughs> if you miss a teaser trailer at the start of this post, then here's juicy info at the end of the video. This February, there will be a character reveal for a Mithrin that's codenamed Radlad. Also, we mentioned our Kickstarter, which is coming this spring. If you want to aid the team in helping us make sure the Kickstarter page is as good as it can be, you can expect Zane to be asking a few questions in our Discord regarding things like backer tiers, general content mentioned on the page, etc. Uh, backer tier suggestion? Um, let me make an NPC. Let me be an NPC. You guys, you guys should do something like that. Uh, no, no, but seriously, um, I, I, when I look at a Kickstarter personally uh, and try to decide what goal, like I'm gonna, or what, sorry, what not goal, sorry, excuse me, what um, backer tier I'm gonna pick, I look to see what either gives me a physical reward, and then if there's no physical rewards, like like a plushie would be really good. Like like a, I think a lot of people will go for a plushie. Uh, if you guys can uh, manage that uh, but if you can't do any physical rewards then I I personally and I'm not saying this is everyone but me I look for rewards that let me put something in the game to make it sort of feel like it's also my game if that makes any sense like um, I always I always have this thing about trying to get my avatar in, in every game it's, it, it's sort of like a meme but um, stuff like that like like or even like being able to like put yourself on like a like a tombstone or something like that just, just stuff like that to make the people 
that are backing feel like the game uh, that, that they're part of it is what I'm trying to get at. Even if there's like, even if you guys aren't, aren't going to be able to make a tier where you can like have an NPC of a, of a certain person or let them design an NPC or whatever, even just like a like a stone wall that'll have like a name or a, a grave is kind of funny because you just be like, you know, here lies Cirque right like stuff like that I, I think that's the type of stuff people will really want to back uh, plushies are always good too like i said anyways let's check out the uh teaser trailer now so here it is So yeah, that's pretty much it. There's nothing uh, too crazy to break down uh, there. Um, but what was interesting is this Rad Lad thing. Like, I'm very curious to see, uh, y they named it Rad, they should have just named it Mad Lad. It it it's the PewDiePie monster, guys. Like, <laughs> he's making a, he's making an appearance here. But, uh, yeah, we, we just got a little bit of, uh, dialogue between the two before they go, uh, they go and, uh, hunt down another Mithrin. Again, you're only gonna have, like, one of each Mithrin. Uh, or, or, I I'm actually not sure how many Mithrin, if you can have every Mithrin. I, I know there's, they're supposed to be more unique. Uh, and then the battles are against mostly against uh, the dark and like in the overworld. So like it's not like um, it's not it, it's very it's more like Monster Rancher than it is like Pokemon. But anyway, um, that was pretty much the little teaser. Uh, subscribe to their their um, YouTube channel. I was subscriber number two. Uh, Barry beat me to it, so I'm very disappointed in myself. But uh, definitely subscribe to their YouTube channel at Small Leaf Studios. I'll leave them linked in the description. And of course, as usual, if you want to stay up to date, up to date rather on all things monster taming, uh, Mithrin included, uh, make sure to subscribe to stay up to date. Like I said, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Until next time, peace.